Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. I'm a home miner and I want to buy another Bitcoin ASIC and I'm looking at the Watts Miner and Ant Miner series and I thought what I'd do is I'd just spreadsheet it out and see how the numbers come out. Let's go take a look. The ASICs I'm looking at are the Watts Miner M50S Plus. That's the 140 terahash model and it's currently available uh, on the wattsminer.net for 3360. I'm looking at two Bitminer S19 XPs the 141 terahash model uh, advertised on um, shop.bitmain.com for 6486 and the 134 terahash model advertised for 6164. These are all US dollar prices and the Bitminer S19 Pro currently advertised, this is the 100 terahash model, currently advertised for uh, $1,950. I've also grabbed the power consumption from the manufacturer's website of each model and then uh, just for interest sake i've used that to calculate the efficiently as in watts per terahash the two uh, antminer s19 xps are both the most efficient at 21.5 watts per terahash and then the watts minor m50s plus for uh, 24 watts per terahash and the 100 terahash uh, S19 is uh, the least efficient at 29.5 watts per terahash. But as you can see, there is a large price difference. Like for instance, going from 100 to 134 terahash model, you're basically paying triple the price. And it's not a huge jump in efficiency, so will that counteract it? Okay, the parameters I'm using, based on the current difficulty, for every terahash of power, you'll earn about uh, 0.064 US dollars. Um, I'm going to be holding my Bitcoin. It's currently sitting around sort of 18,000. Uh, the last all time high was kind of 60,000. So I'm expecting uh, a gain of at least, a minimum gain of at least three before I'll be prepared to sell in the next bull cycle. Uh, I have a split plan where two thirds of the day I get power at around eight and a half cents a kilowatt, and the other um, eight hours it's quite expensive. So I'm uh, basing this on running 16 hours a day. But at the end, we'll come back and play with these numbers and see how they change things. So based on that, that's what each one of these miners will uh, earn. Um, so you can see the Watts miner and the two XPs are both sort of sitting up around the $6 a day sort of territory. And the 100 terahash model is earning around $4.27, but, but it is quite a bit cheaper. Now, based on that, um, based on the price tripling, that means when I eventually sell it, uh, these models are going to be uh, generating, would have generated around the equivalent of about $18 a day. The 134 terahash model is a little bit less and the 100 terahash is down um, $12.80. Now, based off the power there, consumption, and the cost of power and the hours per day running, this is the cost of the uh, electricity to uh, each day to run them. So after taking the sell price that after taking the price, I eventually sell it for less the cost of the power I produce it. This is the gain I'll make, I would have made each day. So the M50 and the, the XPs all are sort of around the $13, $14 territory. The 100 terahash model is down around uh, $8.79. Now, just for interest's sake, uh, I also it would would have taken to recover the ASIC. Uh, the Watts Miner is not too bad, 252 days, so less than a year. Two XPs are both quite high at $466. And that's simply because there's so much, you know, 3,300 for the Watts miner and 6,400 for the XP. Just, they're simply so expensive. So they, they definitely carry more risk, the um, S19 XPs, because of the increased time to pay off. And the 100 terahash model basically has the lowest risk in my book. First of all, it has the lowest cost, and it also has the fastest return on investment. So the next one I looked at is the, let me just magnify that a little bit is the net gain over three years so this is the income less what it would have cost less the purchase price over here to buy it the what's minor you would have cleared eleven thousand two hundred the s19 xps eight thousand seven hundred eight thousand three eight thousand three hundred and the 100 terahash s19 pro thousand six hundred now just for interest sake uh what i did was uh, i had a look also is let's say rather than buying uh, an asic you just simply bought bitcoin and sat on it and waited for it to triple because that's that's a low risk strategy right so what would have happened in this case is if you bought the what's mine m50s instead you would have been 12 percent better off buying the asic if you bought the s19 xps you would have been much worse off you'd be 55 percent down 
on simply having bought the Bitcoin and the S19 Pro uh, that had very healthy return of 30%. Okay, so let's let's say rather than waiting for the gain to go back to 60,000, we say uh, we're going to wait till it hits 100,000. So we can see that uh, for the Watts Miner, uh, we get a very nice gain of 45% over simply buying the BTC. The S19 XPs are still running at a loss. Well, sorry, I mean, you're still you've still walked away for like roughly 20k but you would have walked would have walked away with 30 to 32 thousand dollars if you just put bitcoin instead uh, which is much lower risk and the s19 pro uh, now has a massive 75 percent gain okay let's go back to three we'll just change one factor at a time let's say our electricity cost is now uh us 10 cents a kilowatt hour so the what's minor 50s uh, has only just made slightly more than buying the Bitcoin outright. So at 3%, you really wouldn't want to take the uh, risk using these parameters. The S19 XP, once again, you are worse off having bought the ASIC. You might as well have just bought Bitcoin. And the S19 Pro is still doing great. That's an 18% gain. A lot of it's helped is because it's just so much cheaper than the others and it overrides the, um, and the others just require you to make back so much money that this efficiency just isn't isn't worth paying for. Okay, so let's change one more factor. Let's say rather than running 16 hours a day like, like I do because of my power rate, you can run 24 hours a day. So the Watts Miner is now looking really exciting. So you're now going to get 71% more money than if you bought the Bitcoin. So that's a really healthy return. The S19 XP, you're still 22% worse off. You might as well have bought the Bitcoin. And the S19 Pro 100 terahash model, a massive 94% gain. The 100 terahash model is uh, really looking good because of its low risk and good returns. I mean, not it's certainly 17K is still a nicer return than a, than 11. But once again, if you look at, if you bought two of these, that would be 2,000, uh, that'd be about 6,600. And for that money, you could buy three of these and three 11s are 33. So, you know, 17 versus 33, it's just like the 100 terahash model, even though it's an, even though it's a slow, less efficient smallest one because of the price is just looking really really good okay let's let's pretend we bump the gain to five and we're running a 24 hours a day the watts miner is once again really exciting looking 119 percent gain over buying it finally the s19p is now showing you've made more money just um than simply buying bitcoin but at eight percent over three years, that you know, that's only a bit over two percent a year uh, return. That's um, that's that's nowhere near enough return. But when you consider the amount of risk of um, the market when you buy the uh, A6, so that wouldn't excite me to buy one of them. And once again, the 100 terahash S19 Pro standing out 160 percent gain of from what you mine. Uh, versus just simply buying the Bitcoin. All right, let's pretend our uh, power rate jumps to 20 cents. So we're in a country where it's quite expensive. Uh, what's minor? Once again, it's still looking good. 67% gain over just simply buying the Bitcoin. The S19 XPs, once again, you might as well just not bothered buying them. You might as well just bought the Bitcoin. And the 100 terahash S19, 80% uh, gain again over buying the Bitcoin. It's looking really good. So from looking at that, the uh, Bitmain Antminer S19 Pro 100 terahash model is uh, my standout favorite. And my second choice is the WhatsApp Miner M50S. The S19 XPs, uh, because they cost just so much more money uh, that you just can't seem to recover your money, you, you'd just be better off having bought Bitcoin instead. I hope you found that interesting and thanks for watching. I'll leave a few more videos and some links around my head for you to watch.